Hey dolls! Today I'm going to show you my top 10 favorite thrifted Barbies. I love going thrifting for dolls because I never know what I'm going to get and I can find some really unique looking dolls for a great price. The Barbies in this video cost me between $1 and $3 each. Make sure you watch till the end to see one of my holy grail dolls that I got while thrifting. So these first two dolls I bought at the same time, I was extra lucky that day. I actually don't know what the doll on the left is, so if you can identify her, please let me know in the comments. I love her curly hair, earrings, and painted nails. And she was wearing this beautiful purple dress when I bought her, so bonus points for her. And the doll on the right is Teen Courtney, all grown up from 1996. She still has some of her original pieces and is in pretty good condition. I love her freckles, they're so cute! I've always really loved the Teen Skipper face mold, so I was super excited to find this doll. Speaking of Teen Skipper face molds, the next doll I have here is Teen Skipper Cool Sitter from 1997. Whoever had this doll before me cut her hair in this asymmetrical bob, and it looks great. I'm pretty sure they also painted her nails, and I love that color. Her eyes are super unique with that hint of greenish yellow, and her hair is super soft. This is a Barbie fashionista from 2012. They had a wave of dolls that were color themed. Each doll had their own color. Obviously the Barbie of the line had pink. Her hot pink hair looks super cool. And of course she has some great articulation, which is a plus for me. Here is a Cali Guy Blaine doll from 2004-ish. I never thought I would have a Blaine doll. I didn't think that many were made, but I have one and that's super cool. I appreciate that he has rooted hair that's kind of hard to find these days. I feel like it's also kind of uncommon to see Ken dolls with green eyes, even though he's technically not a Ken doll, but you know what I mean. This doll is actually a character in my new series called Mind Games, so if you want to see more of this doll, check out the card or the link in the description. This next doll is Barbie and Tanner from 2006. This doll is really interesting because she was recalled in 2007. There was a magnetic part that got loose or something and it was a safety hazard. But yeah, I also really like her green eyes and her hair is super soft. Also, her joints are still pretty tight. I know with this articulation, it can get really loose and flimsy, but she's still in great condition. This doll is Calvin Klein Barbie from 1996. At first, I just bought this doll for her outfit, but she's really grown on me. She has basically all of her original pieces except for her shoes, and I even have the extra pieces that she came with, like the backpack and the extra jacket. I love this outfit, and she's really cute. I like the overall neutral tones in her face, makeup, and hair. Here's another doll. I don't know what she is. She has a Teresa face mold. I like her articulation and her short layered hair. I've had her for a while, so she does have some cracks in her neck, but she just has such a captivating face and I really like her. This doll is Purple Panic Christie from 1997. She's just super cute. Her joints are pretty loose, but I've gotten a lot of use out of her. I've also had her for kind of a while. Her nails are painted. I think they originally came like that. She has subtle highlights in her hair, and I really like her. I've used her a lot. Okay, this last doll is a holy grail doll. I wanted her ever since she came out, and I just happened to get this doll through thrifting, which saved me a lot of money. And the doll is This Fashionista Summer from 2011. Honestly, I don't know why I like her so much. <laughs> I, I've always just been really drawn to the doll. I remember when I was younger being at the store, seeing her new in box, and I really wanted her, but she was a little expensive for my family at the time, so we couldn't get her. I'm absolutely in love with this doll. She has a really unique eye color. I like how she has the side swept bangs, although whoever had her before me cut some of it, which I'm not super happy about, but I've gotten pretty good at covering it up in photos. She has a lot of articulation and her face is just so cute. I'm so grateful that I have this doll and I got her through thrifting and that she is still in good condition. So there you have it, my top 10 favorite thrifted Barbies in my collection. I do have more thrifted dolls, so if you want to see a part 2, let me know in the comments. And also, I would love to know which of these dolls is your favorite. Do you like to thrift for dolls? And if so, what's your best thrift store find? I know that was a lot of questions, but I'm really interested in thrifting dolls. I think it's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe if you want, and follow my Instagram at MillieWillowsDoll, and Twitter at MillieWillows59. See you later!